What's up guys, Paul from the Sysadmin channel bringing you the best tips and tools for your Sysadmin journey. In this video, we're gonna cover how to restrict internet access using group policy. Let's get started. So before we actually jump into our group policy editor, I wanted to hop on Internet Explorer and show you a couple of websites like the Sysadmin channel and uh, Google just to make sure that we are in fact getting internet at this moment. So if I go into the settings right here and click connections and then land settings, these are the settings that you will need within group policy to make sure that um, everything is blocked. So if we look here in the proxy server, we are going to be setting it to 127.0.0.1. This basically means that it's going to look to itself as a proxy server. And since we don't have anything installed at the moment for that, it's going to show a blank web page so you won't be able to get out. I've also added an exception for the sysadmin channel. So this lets you customize which site you want to uh, want to allow or you want to deny. Typically, you'd want to allow your own your own domain just to make sure that everything uh, you, you are getting your own your own content. So we'll go ahead and click OK here. OK there. And this uh, setting, even though it is applied with an Internet Explorer, it does work for Chrome and it does work for Firefox. So it's pretty much universal. So now if I click the refresh button, we can see that the proxy server isn't responding, which is obviously the case. And uh, if we go to the sysadmin channel, we do see that it is showing. However, I have my pictures uh, linked on another domain, so those will not show. So you just got to make sure that everything is, um, is configured the way you wanted. And if we go to another site, we can see that it is not responding as well. All right, so let's go ahead and close this up. And now let's open up Active Directory. You can see here that I have already created an internet restricted OU and added the user Don Jones to it. Uh, so that means that this is a user applied policy. So anyone within an OU will get that policy. So now that we have our group policy management editor open, we'll go ahead and create and link a group policy to that OU. We'll want to name this something relevant like restrict internet access. And once we hit OK, that policy is now created. So we'll go ahead and right click it and click edit. And here is where we would need to set those configurations. So we'll go ahead and expand user configuration, preferences, Windows settings, and then registry. And then we'll want to create a couple of registry items to be able to allow the uh, restricted internet access. So with the new registry property window open, we'll go ahead and select the path. So we'll navigate to HKEY current user software microsoft we'll go ahead and press on the w to scroll down to windows and then from there we'll go to current version and after current version we'll click i for internet settings and once we have that selected we'll click on the select button for the value name we'll want to set this to proxy enable so i'll go ahead and type that out for the value type we'll go ahead and set it to reg d word and for the value data, we'll go ahead and set that to one. We'll go ahead and click on the common just to make sure that nothing else is selected so you can see. And once that's set, we'll go ahead and click apply and okay. So now we can see if I expand this, you can see the exact path. Uh, since the other settings are in the same path, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this first one that created and paste it. And then we'll just edit it with the new um, value name. So this value name is going to be proxy server we'll go ahead and update the value type to reg sz and the value data we'll set it to 127.0.0.1 uh, once again we don't need to make any adjustments in the common tab so we'll go ahead and close that out and we'll open up or actually we'll copy and paste a new one a new setting and this setting is going to be the proxy override so we'll go ahead and type that out, proxy override. The type is gonna be reg se like it was before. And for the data, we'll want to add star dot, this, the sysadmin channel dot com along with colon um, and then local within those brackets. That local just bypasses any local servers. Um, so if we click apply and okay, that, sh that setting should be set. And then we'll copy once again, and this last setting is going to be the auto detect. Put that policy set to D word. Um, and then the value data will be set to zero. 
and that means that it will not automatically detect any proxy settings. Okay. All right, so I'm remoted here into my Windows 10 machine, and if we open up Internet Explorer, we can see that the policy is now working. The only problem is, is if we go into the connection settings and, and the LAN settings, these settings are easily configurable to, um, to bypass it. So if we just go ahead and, for example, uncheck that, and click OK here, we've basically bypassed uh, the policy that we've created. And then if I go to Google, you can see that that works. And also if I go to YouTube, you can see that that works as well. So now we're going to we're going to want to update or create a new policy to make sure that you're not able to modify uh, those connections or those proxy settings. So within our same policy, we'll go into user configuration, policies, administrative templates. We'll go down to Windows components. And then here we're going to look for Internet settings. Uh, if I Internet Explorer, sorry. So if we go to click on the standard button, we should see the two policies disable changing automatic configuration settings as well as prevent changing proxy settings. So here we can look for disable changing automatic configuration settings. We'll go ahead and set that to enabled and then we'll scroll down just a little bit more so we can find the prevent changing proxy settings. Uh, so let's look for P, prevent changing proxy settings. We'll go ahead and set that to enabled as well. So that should be it for those two settings. We'll go ahead and sort by status and then scroll all the way up and you can see that those two policies are now enabled. All right, so now back into our client machine, we'll go ahead and right click on the start menu, uh, click on the command prompt. And from here, we're just gonna wanna update our group policy to make sure that those new policies with preventing the proxy settings are now enabled. So we'll go ahead and do a GP update force. All right, the GP update has now completed. So now if we go into Internet Explorer, we can see that the proxy server is not responding, which is what we wanted. Uh, let's go ahead and go into Internet Explorer and let's just verify that the options are now grayed out. All right, it looks like it is grayed out. So now we're unable to make any modifications to this policy. So we can go ahead and close this up and uh, pretty much wrap up this video. All right, guys, so like, subscribe, and once again, this is Paul from the Sysadmin channel, signing out.